I know that devices need various different voltages. For example, in a cell phone, the battery has a certain voltage, but the com circuit components need a lower voltage. So a converter can be used to give the right voltage level. I know the wall power is AC power, but some electric devices require DC power like a laptop. So we need to change the voltage waveform from AC to DC using our power converter. So why do we need power converters? Power sources and loads come in various types of forms. So we need a power converter to transfer the power from the source to the load while changing the form of the power. Here we'll introduce two types of power, DC power and AC power. And we'll also talk about various converters that can be used to transfer power from one form to the other. Here we'll talk about the two different forms of power. The first one is called DC power. DC stands for direct current. When we're actually thinking about it, it's easier to think about it in terms of voltage. So we'll look at an example. Here we have a DC source or load, and we see the voltage is constant over time. It stays relatively constant, provides the same voltage over time. An example of this would be a battery is a type of DC source or load. Also a PV panel, photovoltaic solar panel, is a type of DC power source. Here you can also see the symbol that you can use for this it's like as a constant voltage source. The second type is called AC power. AC stands for alternating current. Again, we think about it in terms of voltage. And here you can see over time, the voltage is actually going to change. Starts at zero, but then becomes positive, and then goes back and becomes negative as time passes. An example of this is wall power. The power we get from the outlet is an AC power, and so the voltage is changing over time. The symbol, symbol for this is shown here as well. Now we want to use power from one source to the load, and we may have to change from one type to the other. So we have to use a power converter to convert from one to the other. There's four basic types of converters based on the power. The first one is AC to DC. So we take a converter and we have an AC source, DC load. We use an AC-DC converter to change that power. This is also called a rectifier. One example is a notebook charger, laptop charger, where we use the wall power and we change it into DC power to charge a battery. This is an example of a rectifying power electronic circuit. The second one is a DC to DC converter. In this case, we want to change maybe the voltage of one DC source to another voltage. So we can use a DC DC converter a very common example of this converter is a switch mode power supply. We might see this in a battery charging, so USB to battery charging application, like a portable battery pack. We would use a DC-DC converter to do this. The third form would be going from DC power to AC power. We call this a DC-AC converter. Another common name is an inverter. In this example, you may go from PV power, photovoltaic power, which is DC, to the AC load, which is the wall power. So in this case, we go DC to AC. The last one would be AC to AC power. An AC-AC converter is not as common, but they do exist. One example of this type of converter would be an AC chopper. Uh, an example would be a wind power system. Although the power electronics is a little bit more complicated, the general form of power is being changed from AC to AC power. We've talked about the need for power electronics. We need power converters to transfer power from one form to the other. We introduced the idea of DC power and AC power. 
and we talked about the different types of converters and gave brief examples of each. We can go from AC to DC power, DC to DC power, DC to AC, and lastly, AC to AC power.